where we are is that we are awaiting uh, a date to be set by the court for oral hearings, the, the actual oral hearings of the case. Um, we expect that that date will be set sometime later this year. Um, that date is, is likely, it could be late this year or it could be sometime next year in, in the early part of 2025. We're not sure as yet, um, but you know, that's where we are with that. You know, we, again, we Belize maintains its very strong confidence um, that we have a, a firm, strong case. We believe that this case will vindicate Belize's position that uh, in terms of our territorial integrity over our territory, our islands, our marine spaces. Um, you know, but Belize remains committed to a peaceful resolution of, of, of this matter before the ICJ. So we're going to see that process work, work, it, work its way out. Um, and at the end of the day, we will respect the decision of the court. Um, we're very glad to hear that our neighbors in Guatemala have also said the same thing, that they will respect the outcome of the court's decision. Um, at the same time, we, of course, continue to have challenges on the ground at the border in terms of incursions, um, you know, uh, farming on Belizean territory. We are tracking these things very carefully. Um, you know, the deforestation that's taking place, particularly in the Chiquibul area. Um, so these are issues that we are very concerned about. And even though we are working through the ICJ process, that doesn't mean that we're not working with Guatemala on these issues. We're engaged with them on these issues with the help and support of the OAS. You know, the OAS plays a very critical role in terms of that adjacency zone. Um, you know, so we're all committed, I believe. Guatemala believes the OAS to ensuring that, you know, this area, this region remains a zone of peace.